Hello guys, welcome back to Lexi's Tarot Card Reading. Today I'm going to have a pick a card on 2024 love reading in general. I have two piles in front of me today. I have pile number one which is the four of coins. Pile number two which is the four of cups. Alright, so beautiful. Take your time, pause it if you need to, and choose your pile intuitively. Um, we're going to start off general and then move into love. Okay? Um, alrighty. Thank you. So, pile number one. You chose the four of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. During um, the year 2024, I do feel like you will be holding on to things more strongly than you should be. I feel like it will be hard for you to let go of old flings um, and have new beginnings. There isn't a possibility here, but if you're having a relationship that no longer serves you that is toxic that is no good the nine of Co coins suggests that singleness or the singlehood is the best way to go with the will of fortune it will bring lots of bright open doors for you to start off but for the overall energy we did we did have um pig beware of greed and your angels are advising you to be careful to be too greedy um we do have ram which is aries and it means um it says a stubborn aggressive person so i don't feel like that is you um I do feel like you will be protecting your energy from this toxic person eventually. Um, and then we have recognition, reward for merit. And then we have sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, and a fresh start. Okay, and then last but not least, romance and celebration and party. Okay, um, for your oracles, we have... Um, let go of the past. Don't let your past hold you back. South node. And stay out, step out of your comfort zone. North node. Again, your past may be holding on to you. And you may be holding on to your past. Which is causing delays in this wheel of fortune. So only in if when you let go of this person this situation that's holding you back then you will allow this blessing to come in okay so let's see how is your person feeling about you um at this moment that was your general quick reading okay so let's see your person in mind for pal number one how is your person feeling For pile number one, how is pile number one's person feeling, guardian angels and spare guides? We have the hermit. Um, that is Virgo energy, the zodiac sign of Virgo. I feel like this person old right now, they are not taking any action towards you. If anything, they're trying to get answers by going within themselves in regards of this relationship they are most definitely soul searching and for some of you this is a twin flame mirroring each other um what the four of coins also represents holding back not being open um as you can see this person is blocking their heart chakra so um, I do feel like both of you are marrying this energy of um, closeness um, in your relationship. Okay. So, if anything, I do feel like to spice things up, what is suggested is 
to change things um do something different when it comes to this relationship especially when it comes to the four of swords the four of swords talks about no action um things staying the same um, i feel like things are not moving at all um this person could be if you're religious or you have some kind of spirituality you're your person they may be praying to God, asking for answers when it comes to this relationship. Okay, I do feel like this going, this person, I'm sorry, this person is like having a break. They're taking a break. They're trying to see things from a different perspective. And... They're just trying to do with this light. They're just trying to shed light on this situation. So for some of you, y'all may have gotten in an argument. Doesn't have to be like that. I'm just trying to use my intuition here. Um, there's lots of scenarios that's happening here for different type of people that are watching me. Um, if there was no disagreement, I just feel like this person wants to find out the truth of where are y'all standing with each other if that's not their energy then i feel like this is your energy roles could be reversed take it how it resonates um we do have just justice card here libra energy and um this is balancing out balancing karma karma is being balanced out um whether this person did you dirty okay um or you did them dirty everything's gonna come back around okay and there's gonna be a knock on their head and they're going to have to have to get have an epiphany when it comes to this relationship they, they're gonna have to sit down and um, figure out what's really going on within themselves what do they really want when it comes to this relationship okay I'm also getting um, with these smoke signals in this picture that maybe this person has been expressing their needs or their wants. Take it how it resonates. Yes, with the Eight of Wands. Look at that. And then look at this with the Four of Cups. But no one is listening. So either y'all's love language is different or there is communication. But the, no one is listening. Okay? That is what I'm getting here. So let's get the um the queen of the moon oracle to see what is their energy how do they feel towards you so for pile number one guardian angels we have power the alchemist so i feel like that's the magician and we have balance again the justice card okay so earlier i did uh, my the devil card did want to come out earlier so what i'm getting here for some of you y'all are in a toxic relationship and this person this person wants to have power over you they want to control you they want to pull you know the cotton um over your eyes the wool over your eyes and they want to take advantage of you but if that is not your situation just release it let it go um that is not for you but what i am getting here is that the divine feminine and divine masculine need to balance out y'all's energy between y'all um what do y'all want to do together what is what is the mutual connection that is holding this relationship together y'all need to find out the foundation the rock solid relationship y'all are having together find out with the hermit card what is it that is gonna really bind y'all together besides um you know marriage or 
being in a committed relationship okay i feel like some of you are not even together this is just the beginning of the relationship um so yes i feel like you have to use your intuition to get there um your guides are guiding you they are trying to show you the way um i definitely see them de see them showing you the way um with the full moon i do feel like something powerful and in extreme is gonna happen a change is gonna happen in this relationship um Yeah, so I do feel like there has to be a combination, uh, a mutual combination, um, an equal give and take. That's the words that we're trying to come out of my subconscious with the six of coins, a balance of give and take between this relationship in order for it to blossom and continue growing. No wonder we have the nourishment card right here but um overall i do feel like you will have a great 2024 beautiful please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i thank you so much Mwah. ciao